built this treehouse and this bicycle elevator thing um, about five years ago. Uh, I built the bicycle elevator because I got really tired of climbing up ladders into the treehouse. I came up with this idea with the help of my friend Aza and it's a, it's a lot better for getting into the treehouse than a ladder. Yep, Frederick move. And a lot cooler. And a lot cooler. <laughs> and about a million percent more swag. <laughs> yeah. So you got a big rock with a chain yep. to hold it down. Over there on that side is a old water heater tank filled with uh, an adjustable amount of water to account for the weight of the person on the bicycle. So you have to chain it to the rock to keep the bicycle from taking off on its own. Yeah. But then you just... And then the counterweight comes down, and right when it hits the ground, you're at the deck of the treehouse. And then how do you come down? Well, that's the fun part. Because all you do is take your feet off the pedals, and let go of the brake. <laughs> it's just like riding a bike, except up into the sky. So the main problem with it is that when the cable's all spooled up around the wheel at the top, or part way up the top, um, the cable has a lot of memory of being wound up in a circle. So if you even let the wheel spin backward just a little bit, the cable pops off like that and gets all sorts of tangled up at the top and then wraps around the hub and everything and it's a disaster. So. Um, this rope isn't going to solve everything, but it'll make that a lot better because it has no memory. It'll just stay in whatever shape you put it. Um, and this is, uh, it's called Dyneema rope and it's used in uh, industrial applications to replace steel cable because it, um, it's lighter weight and I think it actually uh, has better wear resistance than steel cable as well, but it's um, also stronger than steel cable by size. We're going to take this old cable out and replace it with the Dyneema rope and see if it's any better. If nothing else, it'll look cooler. So um, while I'm doing this, I'll kind of explain how it all works. Um, this cable here that I'm replacing, you can see it runs through this guide block thing here. And then there's a pulley here to redirect it through the frame of the bike and then another pulley here to redirect it onto the wheel. And so when you pedal, it wraps around the wheel and uh, acts like a winch and lifts you up. And then to gain a little bit of uh, gearing advantage, um, or basically like a block and tackle, it goes up to the top over a pulley and then comes back down to this side of the bike, which also helps stabilize the bike because it's lifting from both ends at the same time. You're basically, you're spooling up twice as much cable to go the same distance. So it's in theory, I think, something, you know, about twi about half as difficult to pedal as it would be if it was just one uh, strand straight up. This large sprocket here is actually the largest one off of a front uh, gear set, um, you know, and then I just, bolted it onto the back one. Originally I had it welded, but I found that bolting it was uh, a good option because then I could take it off and put it on a different wheel set. But um, that gives you a much lower gear than what you would normally have on a bicycle. And but, also you did it with style, like <laughs> these chains that are just welded to the directions that you want. And especially yep. this curved one in the back looks so cool. These. These are rear control arms from a 1991 Subaru Legacy. These are pieces of a coil spring from something, I don't know what, <laughs> that I had laying around. <laughs> this basket, I found that in the forest. Don't know what it came from, but it works perfectly for the bicycle. Another thing that's difficult about staying in a treehouse is you need to go up the ladder every time you go up. 
So if you have a sleeping bag or a computer to watch a movie or whatever, then you need to shoulder it and one arm climb the ladder. Whereas with the bicycle, it's obviously a lot easier. Just put that stuff in the basket and go on up. Yeah, which uh, it's worth pointing out, I lived in this free house for like, I wanna say it was almost two years that I slept up here. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously I used the bathroom and kitchen and stuff in the, in the house, but I slept up in this tree house for um, close to two years. Another cool thing about the rope is we don't need all of this crap. We can just tie sweet knots in it. Man, these guys are going crazy today. Yeah. We got it taped, it's going on up. I think it's definitely gonna work. Look at that, you can already see how much straighter the new rope is. Yeah. And it's so much lighter, this is gonna be so much easier to pedal. This is the problem with the cable. Yeah. It Whenever just, you relieve it of its tension, it goes back to its default of spaghetti. Yeah. We'll do ourselves a nice figure eight follow through here. Climbing knot. For all Maybe our climbers that's... out there. Maybe that's... All right, we fed a copper wire through the frame of the bike. So now we can tie the rope to it and pull it on through. The rope ends by going through the hole in the wheel where this valve stem used to be. Oh, cool. And then it ties off to the axle. First test with the new upgrades. Oh, listen to how quiet it is. Yeah, it's so much quieter. How does it feel? Different, surprisingly different. The rope has a tiny bit more stretch than the cable, and it just makes for a different feel as you pedal. Mariella's first time on the bike elevator. What do I do when I arrive there? You just get off. And when I come down, I just stop pedaling. No, when you come down, you take your feet off the pedals entirely and you just use the brake. You have enough legs I, to... No, I really don't like this. I want to come down. You can do it. No, I want to come down. I need ET here, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Here. Wait. Yee. One more little pedal. Ah, wait. You did it, girl. I did it. You. Woohoo! <laughs> now give it a little bit of break. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. There you go. <sighs> now you've ridden the world famous bicycle elevator. <laughs> My heart is. Going crazy. <laughs> you did it, girl. I did it.